In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate 95 and 99% confidence intervals for Cohen's Kappa. Now in SPSS, it's not something that's outputted automatically for you, but there's enough information provided, and specifically the standard error, that allows you to calculate the confidence intervals with a few calculations by hand, none of which is complicated. You just have to know the Z distribution values that correspond to 95%, which is 1.96 Z value, and 99%, which is 2.58. So in this case here, I've got two raters, and the ratings were provided on a nominal scale 1, 2, and 3. And I can estimate the Cohen's Kappa by going into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics cross tabs, Rater A in rows and Rater B in columns, and then Statistics and Kappa. Now this is going to give me the standard error, which I need to multiply with the Z values. So if we go to the bottom, I can see that Cohen's Kappa was equal to 0.676, which suggests that there's 67.6 chance corrected agreement between the two Raters. And here's the standard error, 0.088. So I need to multiply that in the first instance if I want 95% confidence intervals by 1.96. So 0 0.088 times 1.96 gives me a value of, let's say, 0 0.172. And so I need to add and subtract this value from the point estimate. So add, so let's just go plus 0.676 gives 0.85 rounded. So that's the 95% confidence interval upper bound. And then I need to subtract the 0.172 from the point estimate to get the lower bound. So 0.676 minus 0.172 gives 0.504, so just 0 0.50 rounded. So I can say that the 95% confidence intervals range between a low of 0 0.50, or about 50% agreement, and 0.85, or as high as 85% agreement. To get the 99% confidence intervals, you would multiply by 2.58. So 0 0.088, which is the standard error here, multiplied by 2.58. And that is a larger value equal to 0 0.22704. So if I add that to 0 0.676, I get a value of 0 0.90. And then if I subtract the value that I obtained, which I forgot, 2.58 times 0 0.088, Let's say it's 0 0.227, 0 0.227. Subtract that from the point estimate here, 0 0.676, 0 0.676 minus 0 0.227 equals 0.449, or 0.45 rounded. So the 99% confidence intervals range from a low of 45% agreement or a high of 90% agreement. So that is how you can calculate confidence intervals for Kappa, and I'll just give you a reference for that. This procedure is documented in a text in a book called Handbook of Parametric and Non-Parametric Statistical Procedures by David J. Sheskin, and that is published, I think, in 2004. Yeah, 2004 over here uh, is a reference for this procedure.